Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Uncle Zonky here. I've been doing some DG today, and basically I'm just doing it with the randoms, and it's awful because, uh, well, they're awful. I mean, I don't want to be mean to the guys, but, um, oh god, it's a ferret room. I don't even know how to do a ferret room. Um, so, anyway, what I'm going to be doing is just like, I, <laughs> these guys really want to, for whatever reason, mine resources and crap like that. I don't know why, uh, so I guess if you just can't beat them, join them. So I'm not going to be too concerned with like finishing the dungeon as fast as possible. So uh, anyway, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, goof around this video, or this, this time, and just take some time off of actually trying to make a video. And that's what I'm going to be doing, because uh, there's, there's no way I can actually, you know, um, make a good video while... Well, trying hard at DG, you know, and why am I on Smash? I'm on Slash. I actually did get the Berserker Ring. I upgraded it six times, I think. That's all the tokens I had. So uh, I will be hitting harder now, which is pretty nice. But what really makes me mad about these randoms is they spend so much time, like, going around cutting logs, mining ore, and then, like, fishing fish and cooking it and all this crap. And it's like, you don't need to do any of that stuff. It just makes the dungeon longer but for whatever reason they're determined and I have absolutely no idea how to do the ferret puzzle I've only even seen this puzzle one time before and someone else did it so um... yeah anyway I'll just let them do it by the way I do got a dun pendant of dungeonarian so the small amount of xp look at this noob he's freaking light and fires you know instead of trying someone do the ferret room plucks I, I don't even know you know I, I really don't know and I do believe I th I think I have blue pentagon gated, so I'm gonna go see if I can do that. Uh, that's the problem with that's blue shield. That's a 103 mine. Oh, I thought that was blue pentagon, but it's blue shield. That sucks. Okay, well, uh, going back, let's just check the map here to see what more we got. Um, I I'm guessing I'm the red player because I'm the only one. <laughs> that's not just all standing around at the bottom of the screen so I'll go home and see if I can open up any of those other two dungeons so yes I'm terrible at dungeoneering uh, I've done literally two larges in the last year so uh, don't judge this is gonna be my third large in the last year which is pretty exciting but I do have Promethium plate body bound I have killed roughly 40 night spiders and have not gotten a um, what do you call it that's silver pentagon we have that don't we Yes! Okay, a door's gonna be open here. But I have no joke killed about 40 night spiders and have never seen a hood. So I'm not exaggerating there. That's how many night spiders I've killed. Uh, roughly between 30 and 40 night spiders and I have never seen a hood. So, um. Um, I'm, I'm actually here with one friend and he is he knows a little bit more about DG than the average fool here so let's just get some venge on I don't know whether to protect melee or range I guess the giant skeleton is using range so um, what's good about this thing is I found a, a thieving chest like at the very start so I got a blood rager out a sachin blood rager which is the highest level blood rager you can make and it owns and it's really nice and I should really take out this uh, skeleton mage here, otherwise I'm going to get completely wrecked. So I don't know whether to like pray mage or melee. Be Holy crap, there's a lot of guys in here. So, um... Anyway, uh, I, I guess I'll just uh, give up on these people. I do have quite a bit of food left, so I should be fine not too much prayer. Um, I actually made a, I did a dungeon once where they actually made an altar. I thought that was kind of cool because I never knew you could actually make an altar in Dungeoneering. Uh, I didn't know like construction was even part of this skill, but I guess it is. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to do this guardian door by myself, apparently. <laughs> oh, I hate guardian doors when they're all by myself like this. It's so annoying. So, yeah, this Blood Rager actually does work. It's really cool. So basically, I was uh, about to explain how I got it. Um, at the very start, the very first room we opened, there is a chest. And since I'm not too bad at the uh, maze things, I did the maze and I got the chest and I got like 120k cash. So I brought some promethium ore and made this blood razor and it, it's really good so far. Maybe not so good on this earth warrior, but earlier it was just tearing. So um, that is really nice to see. And yeah, I think I'm the only 138 in this dungeon. 
because most 138s, I'm pretty sure, have higher dungeoneering than 84. That is kind of fail, I'll be honest. I mean, let's be honest, it, that's just absolutely fail dungeoneering. So, anyway, look at this pro, just absolutely opening a GD all by myself. And, yes, um, I'm sure you can tell, like, the way I'm doing this dungeon is absolutely terrible, but I can guarantee you it's a lot better than the other people, <laughs> the randoms in this dungeon. So, uh, yeah. I'm just, I don't really feel like trying really hard when I'm making a video. And also, I'm on World 32, which is pretty laggy since there are a fair amount of people. Granted, most of them are just like leech dungeoneering spammers, not actual dungeoneers, but there are still a fair amount of people on this world, and that does make it rather laggy. So I'm getting a lot of food to make up for the food that I lost. Uh, no altar or prayer, so. Anyway, I should be able to fill up a full inventory of food here. I mean, I know you can fish, but like if you just pick up food from monster drops and all, you don't need to fish because you should get plenty. Uh, they drop a lot of salad eels. I'm not sure if the food they drop depends on your cooking level or anything, but they do seem to drop um, a lot. Of, look at all these salve eels. It's tons and tons of salve eels. Okay, I don't need any of this crap right here. I don't even know how this stuff got in my inventory. I don't need any of it. It, it all needs to go pick up these salvials here and um, hopefully this dungeon will be finished under an hour you know you never know it is random so th there have been like horror stories of randoms taking over three hours to complete the dungeon and stuff like that which I can completely understand with uh, actually the the dungeon that made me rage quit dungeoneering that made me stop at level 82 because I was planning on going on until 85 to get frost dragons initially but um, the dungeon that actually made me rage quit dungeoneering was um, what was it called? It was, um... I was just with some guys, and they were really terrible. I, I was trying to remember the exact reason why they were so terrible, but I can't. But, yeah, I was just with some people, and they took hours and hours, and... Yeah, that's what made me quit. Uh, luckily, Jagex is actually boosting the solo XP rates of Dungeoneering, and that is going to be awesome and epic. So, hopefully, um... They're asking me to make them armor? No, I'm opening doors. That is my response for you. That is it. You know, I'm opening doors so we can finish the dungeon. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be smithing armor. Maybe at the very end, I might have a change of heart and do some smithing for them. But at the moment, you know, I'll pass because I really just want to finish this. Apparently, these guys are spending this much time making a potion to make a plate body that he's going to wear for one dungeon. Um. I'm not quite sure how much worse it can get. Like, how how long do you want this dungeon to drag on? It's never going to end if you spend this much time. They've spent literally, like, 15 minutes trying to figure out how to make a plate body for one dungeon. Like, I think Jagex should really make it so... Um, Gold Crescent, I do have that. Jagex should really make it so, like, when you spend time skilling, you get bonus Dungeoneering XP for that, because otherwise this is just a humongous waste of time. And... Don't get me wrong, I am a big advocate of skilling and dungeoneering and all that. Uh, I should probably drop my gate stone here so I can get back easily, but uh, I I love the the whole ad, the, the thing of being able to skill in dungeons. You know, I think that's amazing. I think that's great. Those are some cave mores that I could fish, but I don't have any feathers. But, um, yeah, I just think it's such a waste of time when people do it. Like, it's great if we got bonus XP for it, and I think we should, but... But we don't. That's the thing. We don't get anything for it. So it just makes it such a waste of time doing. So luck. I am glad I did uh, gate that uh, that other area so I can quickly teleport out. It would be really nice to find an altar room right now. But hey, it is Jagex. What can you expect? So um, yeah, all that cleared out. Should this guardian door looks pretty clear? And of course, they're all just standing around doing nothing. This is what they always do. Randoms. Anyway, um, hopefully we'll be able to find the boss. Look at all these keys. This is an insane amount of keys. Like, how many how many more keys do we need? We should... Oh, that is not good. That is not good. Quick, get me out of here. I thought this room was empty. Um, I honestly wish every room was empty until the boss. That would be kind of cool, just like run around. Dungeoneering is like a skill. And please don't tell me he's going in there to fish. I, I hate him. I honestly hate these people. Like, I don't know how much nicer I can say it. I hate them. <laughs> they take so long. Um, so, I don't... 
I don't think I I'll have to figure out a way to finish this dungeon. But anyway, I'll come back at the boss and just like show the ending screen and all that. So I finally completed that dungeon. Um how long did it take? Thirty seven minutes. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Uh yeah, to be honest, I've had longer but uh we literally that dungeon could have easily have been done in fifteen minutes less if those guys did not stand around and make armor for so long. Easily could have been done in 15 minutes less, so that was a bit ridiculous. But I did get 38k XP, but of course, uh, quite a bit of that was from my Dungeoneering Pendant, because I did have about like 10k XP left on the Pendant or something like that. Anyway, that's all for this uh, absolutely failed Dungeoneering trip that was awful and terrible. And uh, yeah, this is why you shouldn't Dungeoneer. Very well.